Hi, welcome to Free. I'm Geraldine and today I want to talk to you about the reasons why you're studying English. I'm going to make you choose your exam, IELTS, TOEFL or whichever exam you need to take or your life. What do I mean? I mostly help students with TOEFL and IELTS. And what is what they want? What is that you want? You want me to help you with the exam, to teach you how to get a better score, to help you how to answer questions more quickly, how to write a better essay for the exam. And that's what I do. That's what I try to do. But, and there's a big but. <laughs> do you get it? Yeah, okay. What I want for you is to learn English. I want you to improve your English so you can take any exam that you want. So I like saying that rather than preparing for an exam, you should prepare for life. Or I would love to help you prepare for life because it gives you a different motivation. Because really, why do you have to take the TOEFL or IELTS exam, for example? Isn't it because you want to study in an English speaking country? And don't you in that country need to communicate effectively in English? Not just to say, I have the score that I required. That's right. If that is what you want, go study overseas. You will have to be able to listen, understand, take notes. You're going to have to speak clearly, coherently. You have to summarize lots of things. You have to write plenty of essays. And that is what I want to help you with. Isn't it better to help you open your mind to subjects like biology or chemistry? To give you a list of academic words for you to learn? Which you should do. <laughs> Which is really helpful. But do it your way. Do it the way it fits your learning style. Wouldn't the best way of asking if you are correct be paraphrasing what one person just said to you? I think so. The question is then, why are you studying English? For an exam? Or for life? That's what a teacher told me when I was 10 or 11 years old. Not exactly that, but it was more like, why are you guys here? For the score you're going to get or to learn? Uh, it really did something in me. I mean, I really liked that. And I wrote it down, I remember. It meant a lot to me and still means a lot. And I hope it does to you too. And one last thing. You know, when you're preparing for IELTS and TOEFL, you think that you are going to do it quickly. But if you don't have the English level, you won't do it quickly. And if you focus on the exam, it will take you even longer to get there. But if you focus on your English first, then you can improve your English fast, faster, and then you can focus on the exam. And it's going to be a lot more rewarding too. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, share, follow me on Instagram, and see you soon.